everybody, let's cat a goblet to 3D print. So let's start by choosing a plane to draw our sketch. And I'll make some sort of, I don't know, goblet-like shape. I don't know if that looks so great, but okay, we got something. And I'm going to offset this by however thick I want the goblet to be. Oops. I'm going to keep going with that sketch. Um, I need some sort of stem over here. And the foot or whatever it's called. All right, and how about a kind of curvy foot? All right. Oh, I forgot to finish the top up here. Okay, now we have a kind of a closed surface. And let's revolve this around maybe this line. So I'm going to revolve this around this line right here. And that gives us a 3D object. And we can maybe smooth things out a little bit. Maybe right here, like that. And how about by the foot over here? Oops, I missed there. There, whoa. Okay. See if that looks more goblet-like. Oh, and how about uh, up here? We want We don't want any kind of sharp surface up here. Let's see over here. I'm gonna round it out. Okay. And let's see. Um, we can choose a material. So let's see. I want it to be glass. Glass or like a metal, like aluminum. Here, 6061 aluminum. And alum oh, maybe a ceramic material. Porcelain or glazed porcelain. There you go. Uh, uh, how about glass so we can see what's going on inside. There we go. Okay, and if we want to know the properties, it's just the click of a button here. Properties. We got the total surface area, the density. Let's change units a little bit. How about if we go with centimeters? Okay. All right, so we got surface area, the density, the mass, the total volume of glass. And we know the location of the center of mass, the moment of inertia at the center of mass, the moment of inertia at the origin. Where is the origin? Here. The origin is here. I can show the center of mass also. Uh, oop, there you go. Okay, so there's the center of mass. Um, let's hide that origin again. So for example, if we were to change the shape of if we make the foot like really big, ridiculously big, right? We expect the center of mass to move down. Ah, there it is. So now here's our weird low center of mass goblet. And if we want to 3D print it, we need to turn this into a mesh. And that's a click of a button here, right? And then this mesh is what we give to the 3D printer slicer software, which calculates the tool path for the 3D printing head. All right, so here's our weird 3D printed goblet. Okay, thanks for watching.